Hello guys, today's video is going to be something different because I know most of you guys at home because of all this situation. So my wife and I decide to do something different. I used to be a personal trainer as well, but my wife is, is a personal trainer and a dietitian coach. We decided to perform a home workout for some inspiration. I hope you guys enjoy it and please feel free to leave a comment and if you like it, well, share it with others so they can also do the workout. Now, I'm gonna hand over the camera to my wife so she will explain what we're gonna do today. Okay, tell me what, what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a full body workout. Hi guys, my name is Astrid, I'm Jose's wife. Um, today we're going to do a really nice workout. If you are interested in more sort of a nutritional information, you can find me in my Instagram, anti-dietitian in English, but I also have an account in Spanish that is to nutritional coach. So let's do this and let's start with uh, some of the exercises we're going to go through. So one of the exercises I'm going to do, we're going to do firstly a AMRA, which means uh, as many rounds as possible within a time frame. This one is, a, is going to be for about 12 minutes and we're going to try to do as many rounds as we can in this amount of time. Ideally we want to focus on a lower body section first so this is what we're going to do one of the first exercise will be a squat with a dumbbells and this is going to be like this. and the first one is a dumbbell squat so the main thing we want to do is obviously grab the dumbbells from a snatch position really put my back straight back and lift it put it on top of your shoulders, really brace your core all the way down and that's going to be between 20, 15 to 20 reps. The second exercise is a hip thrust. So we want to, feel, to find something that is sort of like a bench or a stool like this and what we want to try to do is place our meat back in a nice position so we can pretty much focus on hip going all the way up and down. There are a few mistakes that I just really want you guys to be focused on. A lot of people do tend to lift their body and their head goes with it. So this is a really poor form and that tends to affect your lower back pretty much. So what you want to improve and focus is to make sure you are using your lower body and your hip like underneath your, your rib cage. So what you want to do is keep your face heading to one spot and you just want to bring your hip all the way up and down without moving your upper body. So you want to snatch and use your hip thrusting of your hip without moving your upper body so this is not a good form this is a good form okay and then once you go up you squeeze the glutes and you tighten your core and the last exercise is going to be hip raises so I'm going to use this to hold to something and I'm going to bring my core stable and lift my knees so this exercise will be between 15 and 20 reps right, so the second round is a, it's going to be a 12 minute arm reps as well and this is going to be three exercises as well the first one is going to be knee stands RDLs, so we want to place our feet um, in a position that they are not in the same in the same line. And what we want to really do is like an RDL or Romanian deadlift, but only uh, isometric, not, not not necessarily with the two legs. So this is going to be contralateral, step uh, opposite arm, opposite leg. We're going to really 
squeeze your upper body, back straight, and down. Again, same with the hip thrust. This is an exercise that goes from your hip, snapping up. So it's not your lower body or your lower back lifting, it's your hip lifting. Second exercise is going to be unilateral cursy lunge. So with the same kettlebell, we're going to bring our leg all the way across, lift, all the way across, back, lift. And that's going to be 12 reps approximately. If you want to increase the amount of reps, that's really totally up to you. And the last exercise will be wheels roll out. And this is basically a fairly uh, complex advanced work uh, exercise, but you can go as far as your core allows you to do. So a beginner can just go a little bit all the way out. Comes back, more advanced you can go all the way out, bring back. Um, for some people, they can lift their knees, drop it, and come back. 50, 15 to 10 to 15 reps, oh, totally up to you as well. That is great. Now, the third and the fourth uh, sort of complex of exercises will be upper body, okay? So the first one will be an arm wrap, so as many rounds as possible, eight minutes, but upper body. So the three exercises will be T-Rex. So we want to lift our, our elbows, we pull, and we draw on the W. Try to avoid in the select in the T-Rex. Then we turn around we're going to do overhead tricep extensions so obviously you really want to focus on pressing away from your head okay and extending your triceps squeezing your triceps um, the last one would be you're going to do to draw a, a, a Y with your shoulders so you get a position to lift your arms and squeeze your shoulder blades and bring your shoulders in an activation mode so 12 to 20 reps of each one of these exercises um, again totally up to your level Next one is going to be three exercises again and the first one is going to be upright rows. So really focusing on lifting, squeezing your core without compensating. I see a lot of people sort of going with their body rather than really lifting. with an elastic band, adjust depending on your level of, of strength and, and conditioning. You will try to bring these pulling apart, it's fairly easy if you're tired of course, but if you're already, already tired you might want to ease up a bit with the elastic band, but really focusing on these rear delts and trap issues. Last exercise, uh, kick out. You can do it. Uh, you can do them in the, on the floor or in the same stool. So you're going to bring your knees in and out, and your feet away from your body. You can make them a little bit harder, putting something in your feet like a weight, uh, especially. If you're at home, you can totally use items that you use at home, like a bottle of soft drink. 
you can put it put that on your feet and this on your knees bring this up and down or you can totally change it over put this on your feet put this on your knees whatever feels more comfortable this one feels better for me and 20 to 30 reps totally up to you but a good range that you feel like you are working your left exercise will be a combination of two um, it's going to be for eight six to eight minute arm reps you decide how much one you you want to do that lifts pretty simple up and down again using that hip to snap and a spider-man plank you will bring your knees to the side alternating knees and see easy 20 reps for each leg and 20 reps are the else the main last exercise will be another arm rep of six minutes eight or six minutes split squats this is going to be 12 reps each leg you can do it with only with your body weight but you can add some resistance if you want to use dumbbells you would do, do 12 reps each side and then you're going to combine that with kettlebell swings so you grab your, your kettlebell you can do two versions so the uh, basic version is pretty much using your hip it's very very short snapping your hip or if you want to do a slightly advanced version you can bring the, the kettlebell all the way up and down that's 12 reps as well uh, you have any comment or any question just please leave it down below in the meantime enjoy our workout